Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the second week of December, December 6th through the 6th through the 12th, right? So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what do we got? This is going to be an overall energy. What do we have for Pisces? Second week of December. Optimism. Optimism. So there's a need to be optimistic this week. I am going to read that for you. Interesting. I just opened right up to the consciousness section. So... there try to get it to focus this thing does not like to focus a woman looks joyously at the sunrise over a beautiful valley abundant fruit hangs on the trees that surround her this is a card of great value and achievement your reality is shifting in a much more positive direction look for an exciting new development in money romance or your career this could also manifest as a personal accomplishment or a creative success. Old blocks are falling away and you are choosing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's an increased optimism taking hold in your attitude and you're finally determined to raise your consciousness to a more positive outlook. This reveals a much more beneficial mindset than you may have had in the past. Your attitude of optimism ensures that a very bright future, perhaps one you may not have been expecting, is on the way. So that sounds really, really, really good. Looks like your optimism is paying off. In your romance arena, what do we got? Ooh, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. This is go with the flow in regards to your relationship. Whatever is meant to be will be. Don't try to control it. Allow it to happen. Whatever is meant to be will be. Let go of control issues. Think positive, by the way. Something very good is coming by the looks of things. What do we have for Pisces? Ooh, the Empress. Interesting. So the Empress is the goddess, right? Domestic homemaker, unconditional love. This is natural. Again, that things unfold naturally. Just, just go with it. Just go with the flow. Anyhow. So the Empress is the birth of a new life. So you may be going through a period. Uh, it's kind of like a gestational period right now. But get prepared because a new life is, is coming. It's a new life for you. A beautiful new life. The Empress is about love and abundance. Plenty. Plenty of love and abundance is coming your way. We have somebody here that is glowing. They're shining. The overall energy, unfortunately, is the Nine of Cups reverse. So the Nine of Cups reverse is dissatisfied, uh, not happy about an outcome. We could have somebody here that has been overdoing it, uh, wanting to have it all, needing to let go of some things. Um, so what do we have for the second week of December? I feel like there's some sort of a parting ways with that Three of Cups reverse. That's parting ways from friends or family. 
um, separation of some sort. This is like the honeymoon is over, the party is over. You, feel, you may not feeling you may not be feeling like it's time to celebrate, but there is another opportunity for you because of that four of cups. That's a new opportunity that you have right in front of you that could make you extremely happy. So I feel like. Uh, you're going through a period, you know, it's kind of like the period of pain, contractions, whatever, before you get the blessing. So yeah, I feel like this is a period, of, it's the gestational period. It's almost like you're about to get a reward. But before you get the reward, you have to separate from something. I mean, the Three of Cups is reverse is, is parting ways, okay? It's parting ways from, from friends or family or something like that. Um... I think there's some high competitiveness, the, the highly competitive uh, people around you. Um, I feel like you've been ignoring something, but now you're starting to see something clearly. Maybe it's a love connection. I don't know, because that, that, that Four of Cups reverse is interested, interested in a new opportunity, seeing a new opportunity. And that could be in your home or your money you may have a new opportunity whatever is happening i feel like you are going to be getting some sort of reward in the near future there's a very positive outcome here there's a blessing that is coming i feel like um there's sadness though you may feel sad you may feel sad you may feel like uh, this isn't what you wanted but you can see that there's a brighter opportunity which is interesting um so yeah, I, I do feel also like there's gossip around. You may have some friends that really aren't your friend that have friends that haven't been supporting you. I think you're going to be parting ways from these people. I think it's a very, very, very good move. Um, I feel like it's going to be an emotional time. I think there's going to be an expression of feelings or feelings are growing. There's a, It's a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. For some of you, there's news of a baby, news of a pregnancy, definitely. I feel like whatever is happening, there's good news that is coming. So um, if you're feeling sad or you're feeling discontent or you're feeling uh, emotional, just know that you are going to be receiving a blessing in the near future. Okay. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like there's a really, really good connection here um, that could really... Uh, make you satisfied you could be and you could be satisfied um more than you think if you can uh well that for of take an opportunity that's like take an opportunity that you have been ignoring you've been ignoring this but it's time to stop ignoring it you know whatever that means to you it's like looking forward now letting go of regrets the end of stagnation it's it's time to, uh, well, this is a new life. It is. It's time to release pain by the looks of things. You may you may even be dealing with some tears this week. You may be having some tears as you're releasing something. It feels like it is. I mean, if you think about the Empress when she gives birth. It freaking hurts. It does hurt. So you may be dealing with some pain this week. And it's out of your control. But I do feel like you have somebody around you that cares for you. They care for you a lot. So, um, just saying. Anyhow, I feel like you've been avoiding disruption. You've been avoiding disaster, but you can't avoid it anymore. I feel like your gut is, is telling you something. You may have been ignoring your gut. You're probably giving deep thought to a relationship. I do feel a change. I definitely feel a change. I feel like there's some sort of new interest here, whether it's in a home or a partner or something. I think there's a change. I see you taking action. I see you... Uh, doing whatever it takes to become successful and it may it may mean that something ends there could be an, a major ending here with that death card next to the magician as well the magician is as above so below you get what you ask for um but it's about being willing to shed the old to bring in the new and i do see something new here there is a new interest here whether it's a new love interest or it's a new endeavor or something Something that you have, you've been missing an opportunity or you've been ignoring an opportunity or you just weren't interested in it. Now you are. There's a new interest here, a new opportunity. Um, and, I, and I do see you uh, 
separating from something, especially with that death card. I mean, that's a separation. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or separating from something that was once of value to you. Um, you know, that's, I mean, we got the queen of pentacles reversed. That's no value. There's no value left here. You know, it's, 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 there's no growth. There's no growth. There's no passion. There's no desire. So I feel like there's, there's, uh, being weighed down by something. You've been weighed down maybe by, uh, something that was false. Um, because of that tower card, something that was built on false pretenses, maybe it's a false foundation or a sh shaky foundation. I think that you, have it's time for a move. It's time to start with a clean slate. And I think the only way that you can start with a clean slate is to give deep, deep, deep thought to the foundation that you are involved in. So I feel like that's what you're going to be doing. And I do feel like the, that as you are thinking and a lot at night, thinking at light at night, and the light being shed, interesting. Light is going to be shed at night, when probably when you're in bed, when you're in thinking. You may get some sort of epiphany or something like that. Um, anyhow, I do feel like you are going to be um, doing whatever it takes to remove yourself from a situation that is unstable. And I feel like th there's a major profound life change here. That's that. You know, I think it's already started. I think this change has already started. I think you've already been experiencing upheaval in your life and chaos. I think there's a foundation that has been crumbling and perhaps it reaches its peak, okay, or it's reached its peak. Um, for some of you, uh, for some of you, I feel like there's a chance, there's a chance for... Well, there's a chance for acceptance here. There's a need to accept. There's a need to forgive. And there's a need to follow your heart. You know, there's a need to listen to your intuition as well. Um, some of you have been extremely stressed out. You've been extremely stressed out, overwhelmed, having a hard time sleeping, worried, worried about um, change. But change is good. Change is good. Your life is about to change. You can't avoid it anymore. It's time for a change. Um, it's time for your new life. Okay? Um, so, yeah, I feel like this week you're going to be letting go of something that no longer has value. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed is um, mm -hmm. not giving. She's not giving anything. Uh, doesn't have anything to offer. Very, very boring. Very, very selfish. There's, there's somebody here that it may be jealous, may be stubborn, may be possessive. Uh, somebody is suffering financially. They, they're lazy. You're dealing. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is lazy. Um, or there could be a loss of money if it's not a person. There could be a loss of of money. You may be struggling financially, and you're trying to uh, regain. You're trying to regain some sort of abundance. Abundance is coming. If you're struggling financially, I'm tell I'm here to tell you that it's going to change. There's going to be a change. The end of the, there's going to be an end to the financial struggle. Okay, you may get an offer that really surprises you. It's a new opportunity. Maybe you ignored it in the past. You know, and this will help you to regain financial stability. I do, I do see you uh, being successful in whatever it is that you're trying to do. But I also see you thinking a lot, thinking about something that is false. I feel like you are going to be releasing something that is built on a false sense of security. You know, it's built unstable. It's unstable. You're going to be letting go of something that isn't stable. There could be a, an event, even a fight or something. Um, there's a lot of stubbornness here. You may have stubbornly been holding on to something and it's been causing you a lot of anxiety. Some of you, this may have something to do with a move. You may be fearful of a move, you know, or fearful of of chaos or, or whatever it is. There's fear here. Um, when the universe forces a change, it's because you mu it's time to start with a clean slate. So I, I do feel like it is time. Um, for some of you, uh, your intuition is going to be leading the way. You're going to be receiving a lot of signs, signs from above. You may even have a past life relationship here with the judgment card, a past life connection with somebody. I do see you... Um, 
giving deep, deep thought to some sort of foundation that isn't stable, which is interesting. Um, I feel like there's some sort of uh, a need to be delicate, a need to be gentle with you. There's some sort of forgiveness. You may need to forgive. You may need to accept. Like I said, go with the flow. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. You need to, you need to uh, forgive, accept, and allow. And be honest and be truthful. There's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed that is coming out. It is an epiphany. Yeah, somebody's going to be getting an epiphany in regards to love. And that's what it is. In, to, in regards to love, somebody's going to be getting an epiphany. Um, for some of you, there could be a reconciliation. I don't know. That judgment card is a reconciliation for somebody. Um, but there's a lack of, of desire over here. There's a lack of attraction. You know, something is going in the wrong direction. So there's something isn't matched up correctly. So there's a, somebody is, uh, it feels like, mm, changing directions it feels like changing directions taking action to shed the old to bring in the new that's what's going on you are accepting an ending of some sort this is accepting this is an ending and this is you i feel like it's it's emotional i think it's an emotional release i do i think it's an emotional release i feel like um you are looking at something that is no longer, uh, it's no longer fruitful, okay? You're looking at something that has no more growth, that has no desire, that has no passion, something that is boring, lackluster, um, you know? And I feel like you're, you're allowing it to end, you're allowing it to go. You're, I think that, that uh, there could be a financial loss but it feels like you're ready for something new. So I feel like this week, uh, you're, you are accepting. I feel like you're, a blessing is coming and it's because of your positive outlook. It's because of who you are it's, and you deserve, you deserve a blessing. So I feel like if you can let go of those control issues and allow whatever is happening to happening to happen, it's happening for a reason. It is happening for a reason with that tower card. You can't avoid it anymore. I think that you've been avoiding this downfall. You've been, a, maybe it's a breakup. I don't know. Or you've been divide, di, avoiding this move, you know, or you've wanted to avoid this, but you can't avoid it anymore. This is like a permanent loss and allowing it to happen. I feel like it's a painful change that you never saw coming or you didn't want to believe that it was going to happen. You do have another interest here and I think that you are ready for it. You are ready to move forward. Um, you could have been dealing with somebody, there could be a third party, whether it's friends or family or you know another partner that has um, gotten in the way with that three of cups reversed. I do, I do see there's been a lack of emotional growth, but you're going through a period of gestation right now, right? You're going through a period of major change and your new life is about to begin. So this week, I feel like there, it's like labor pains or contractions, you know, that kind of thing where you're about to give birth, but in order for you to give birth, you got to go through the hard work first. So yeah, I feel like I feel like you're you're on the right path. I feel like you have a golden opportunity, especially with that magician. It's like you've manifested a new life. I mean, that's what this is. This is manifested and that's a new life, but it comes after a death. It comes after an ending. You can't have that new life until you take action to release because death is release and the magician is action. So yeah, you've manifested a new life. Something has already been presented to you and I think you've been ignoring it. So I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's it's time for you to take action and let go of whatever it is that you're not excited about, that you're not passionate about, you know, that has decreased in value to you. So yeah, I feel like this week uh, is is a time of of uh you know basically those labor pains but deep satisfaction is coming it's coming and that's what i got so you may be communicating with somebody as well that um really has feelings for you i mean we got the page of cups next to the empress 
That's an expression of feelings, an expression of love. That is support. There's some sort of admirer here showing feelings. There's some sort of happy news that is coming. It's coming. You also need to follow your heart and trust your gut when you get the Page of Cups. It's like there's an opportunity for abundant love. I mean, the Empress, she is unconditional love. Loves, does everything with love. So we, we do have an Empress here who has uh, a lot of love to offer, but she also knows her value. So anyway, um, somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship with that Nine of Swords. I think it's you. And, and there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's an uproar. There's going to be an uproar. There's a false foundation that is about to crumble really, really, really fast. There's some sort of truth that is going to be revealed. I mean, that is this truth being revealed. Responsibility being, being, being assigned. We have a life-changing decision here. There's a lot of life-changing cards. Your life is about to change for the better. But it comes after an ending. After a death. Let go of control issues. Just go with the flow. Whatever is meant to be will be. Good luck.